young racer lost his life on this speedway. It was in the early laps of Winston Cup practice. Kenny Irwin came down the back straightaway. Apparently, his throttle stuck. And in a crash eerily reminiscent of Adam Petty's, slammed headlong into the turn three wall. The car slid along, ending on its roof. Rescue workers quickly on the scene, but little could be done. Irwin spent his first two seasons in Winston Cup with Robert Yates Racing, winning a pole position and Rookie of the Year honors in 1998. This season, he drove for Felix Sabates. But like most kids growing up in Indy, he dreamed of racing open wheels. Winning the USAC National Midget Championship and Rookie of the Year honors in its Sprint Car and Silver Crown divisions. NASCAR beckoned, and he came to the Craftsman Truck Series driving for Jim Herrick and Brad Doherty winning twice, and also being named the series Rookie of the Year. Kenny Irwin was 30 years old. And as we grieve, there is a race to be run. Let's go trackside for the command. For a single file, Ruckman slots in at fourth. They're now Andy Houston fifth. Here's the race for sixth place. Jimmy Hensley, number 16. And oh, a sixer oh, hard in the wall. He did. I don't know if they locked the brakes or what happened, but boy, he did go hard in that wall. Four trucks is off there. there. That's Jack Sprague, number 24. Oh, on fire there. Rob Morgan and Sprague piled in. It did not look as if Setzer had steering control or brakes as that car came okay? off the wall. Look, both sides of the front of the truck is just crammed in. The back is, there's Mike Wallace getting out of his yeah, truck. That's Jack, oh, that's Jack Sprague, yes. beg your pardon. Jack Sprague looking over his truck. That's a good sight to see him. Look at the damage to the front there. Oh, my goodness. And a little fuel fire underneath the hood. And Sprague, the two-time series champion, will score minimal points today. Certainly, Rob Morgan was also involved. Let's go away. Sprague was in the hunt, or still is, or was before today. This is going to be a big hit as far as the championship chase is concerned. And Dennis Setzer there, he was winner last year here, and, and boy, that truck, and he took a while upon going into turn three. The uh, Mopar performance cam right there, as uh, you see the record crew move into position. Let's see what happened to Dennis Setzer here. Well, he was on the outside of Jimmy Hensley going. It looks like the left front wheel is definitely locked. He's got the brakes on there, trying to slow the truck down. He got in the loose stuff on the outside there. There's a tremendous amount of dirt and rubber buildup on the high side of the racetrack. He locked the brakes down, trying to slow the truck down. Of course, when he did that, he lost the steering totally. Another look. See, it goes straight, though. Mike, that looked like something might have broke on the truck because he was trying to turn it and nothing happened. Look how far back that left front wheel is in the wheel well. Well, it was pointed pointed fairly straight at that time. We can only speculate, but certainly the brakes, the left front brake did lock. And how Mike Wallace and the two truck got through there, I'll never know. Now, he's on the outside there. There was no contact between he and Jim, Jimmy Hensley. He just goes straight up, makes hard contact into the wall there. That is the, the force of hitting the wall sort of brings the truck back down across the track. And this is what the other did. Here's what Mike Wallace saw. Well, buddy, you wondered how he got through here? Here's how. Watch this. Boy, oh, that was a great piece of driving. Heads up. On board with Dennis Setzer. That's Andy Houston just ahead. fluttering just before he got to the wall. Like the right front might have gone flat down at the far end of the back straightaway. But on replay there...